my mom not bothered about hellfire memes on social media. Mommy Gio's son. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Sam are the son of former liar Adebayo, an evangelist nicknamed Mommy Gio, and now trending on social media, has said that his mother is not bothered about the hellfire memes circulating online. You know, I, I told somebody that we play in this country, and this is true. They are, I don't blame us. The country is enough. It's already harsh. Imagine we have not entered into the new year. When they break the news that the fall is going to be increased, they're going to be towing our roots. And the recent one, the most recent one, I think that one was brought into, I mean, was that information was passed this year, was that they will start taxing tender per liter on non-alcoholic drip from the manufacturers. <laughs> Can you imagine? You see how... You know, this year is tough. So many people, they use these things, they laugh it off. While some people, you know, they're actually very angry about that. Me, I'm indifferent. I don't know about you. But back to the news concerning this particular woman. If it were in other Western countries, or we all know what would have happened, they would have caught this woman. They would have sent her for medical um, checkup, sent her for, for mental evaluation to find out what exactly is making her give these teachings. And if they find out that she's actually fine, sincerely, she's going to be charged to court. But unfortunately, we live in a country that is very, very lawless. And at the end of it, anybody can come out and say anything they like. Because my own is, she's not even the problem. My own is who she, who she preaches to. Those people that actually go there week in, week out, they go there, listen to her. And at the end of the week, they come back the following time. It is high time, you know, this, they do something about her, yes. So that she don't keep spreading. Why some people come out and say, oh, those people she's talking to act are actually adults. But the truth is, this is not supposed to happen. If it's in another country, I repeat, she's going to be have been taken. They'll check her medically and mentally. And if she's fine, sincerely, she'll be charged to court. Let's listen to the rest of the news, the news in detail. Please stay with us. He, however, said many of the checks attributed to his mom in the memes about her fire were fabricated and untrue imaginations. Samuel, in a chat with a punch on Friday, said though his 54-year-old mother made some comments about some actions that might attract her fire's destination on the afterlife, she never coerced people to believe her. The son of the preacher, who is in his early 30s, also urged social media users not to take his mother's comment personal but to feel free to ignore or accept any of the sermons that align with their belief system. Some are said, Social media has always been a platform where anything can be posted at any point in time, but everything that has been posted about her saying, she said these and that are all lies. Nothing is true about the memes. They are just fabricating the memes. Everybody with their content, writing all sort of things and tagging her pictures, we are used to it. The best thing is to ignore them. Even though she said everything about hell, there is no way she said by fire, by force. People must agree and accept what she's saying. I do not think she has ever made that kind of a statement before. Everybody's entitled to believe what they want to believe. I do not know why people are taking it so personal. There is freedom to believe whatever one wants to believe and neglect whatever one wants to neglect. But there's always the freedom of expression. Even Christ did not say that people must accept him. Accept him by fire, by force, as the Son of God. The founder of Rapture Proclaimer, Evangelical Church of God, and the nickname Mommy G.O. after some video clips of her hell-threatening sermons went viral. Sincerely. About, you know, people believing and people not believing, you are meant to teach people the right thing. As far as you call yourself an evangelist, people, I don't want to care. People, yes, they are they're supposed to know the left from the right. But there are some people who, sincerely, they hold on to highly how their pastors, their, 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 they even go as far as calling their pastors daddy and all of that. They hold them high. You don't get to say that if you like, believe it. If you don't like, believe it. Sincerely, no. We know how Nigerians are. There are some people who so who have even lost their way, they now worship their so-called pastors or prophets. And at the end of it, they're forgetting that they're going to worship God. That is it. So you don't get to say things and say, oh, um, I did not put a knife. At the end of it, you'll be held responsible. That is just the truth. A mother whose, whose, um, 
who have given birth to let's say three four or five children and at the end of the day you say hey you have you have tried your best and they go astray sincerely make sure when you are saying you have tried your best and you have gone astray make sure it's not about you even cooking for them alone wearing their clothes you have to inculcate habits in them that people will score you they will score you 100 over 100 they'll say no this woman tried she makes sure her children she taught them the right thing she makes sure she took them to you know the church she may get you to brought out brought up her children in the way of the lord or she makes sure she makes them very very useful she sent them to school when they came out so she ensured that they were on the right path then if that children now went astray you know that's okay you really did your best not you have children and you're going to be like, okay, you go to work and come back and you provide for them and that is just it. At the end of the day, you'll be asked about these children. How did you take care of these children? Were you so lost or in the taking care of, um, of in getting more money than in the taking care of your children? These people are like sheep. You have to give them the right information. Yes, people have a mind on their own, but they are people that repeat their hold the words of the pastor to high esteem. We have seen or we have continued to hear, if I tell you what religion has done, people who actually, who actually, you know, they're actually thinking very well and they come out and say something. They, they are thinking very well and they say something. Before you know it, you start lining. Okay, this person said this. Before you know it, you hear it every time and every time. You start preaching that gospel and you start spreading it. And it goes, maybe it goes, for instance, to children who... They are still in their formative years and they get that kind of wrong information and they run with it. And tell it is not. This so God, you are even saying you go to hell, you go to hell, you go to hell. Can you not preach salvation? Can you not preach salvation? Yes, God is also a consuming fire. But he will not want every, and he will not want even you to, to know him as a consuming fire. He is also a loving father. So coming out to say, oh, if you do this, you go to hell. If you do that, I don't even think the start of fishing. You have to preach and reach out to the person's soul. This one is like a command. And you know some human beings, naturally, they don't even do well with commands. Sincerely. They don't do well with, okay, if you don't do this, this happens. Yes. It will, it, will, it, will, it will not get them. So at the end of the day, you can't say she's not responsible. Sincerely, she's resp she will be held responsible. And if this were to be, I repeat, a Western country, sincerely, she would have been... She said that she's in a medical facility. They're checking her. They're doing a med mental evaluation on her. Or she's actually in jail, cool enough, when they found out that she's actually fine and there is nothing wrong with her and she's giving out those preachings she's doing. That is just it. Life in Jesus Christ is not about hell, please, but about the more abundant life which you receive after choosing Christ, despite our last shortcomings and our repentance from sins and our evil will. Our God is love and this abundant life is very inspiring heavenly, incorruptible, and satisfying. Okay, indeed. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling us to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.